Before we move on to understand what is the degree of polynomial, can you tell me if one ball can be represented by 1x? How we can represent two balls? Correct, it can be represented by 2 times x or x square. Similarly, 3 balls means 3 such variables x and so on. It means the number of x represents the number of ball. Similarly, we need to know the degree of polynomials, what it signifies in the real world. Let's understand this with a few examples. Now, see on your screen, we have x squared plus 5 times x plus 5. To look for degree of polynomial, we have to find the highest power exponent. So look, this term x squared has the highest power, which is 2. Hence, the degree of this polynomial is 2. Let's do one more question. See on your screen we have x power 3 plus 20x plus 3. Now see, this term has maximum power on variable x hence, the degree of this polynomial is 3. So, to look for degree in one variable polynomials like this, we only look for highest exponent power in variable. But, what will happen if we have more than one variable? How we will find degree in such case? Let's firstly understand what is the meaning of multivariable. Suppose in previous situation, if one ball is represented by one variable x. Now let's suppose one bat is represented by a variable y. If we distribute one bat in each situation, let's see how we can write variables now on the right side. Now can you tell me in which situation we have most number of item? Of course. It is the third situation, as here we have three balls and one bat, means total item 4. Also, focus we can write the situation in terms of exponent. Now, let's move on to finding degree in multivariable polynomial expression. See, on your screen, we have polynomial expression. x square y plus x cube y plus y square x cube plus 7. Now what is the degree of this polynomial? See first term we have x square y, add the exponent power as shown, means we have total three variables. See second term we have x cube y, means 3x and 1y, or 3 plus 1, total four variables. Notice. We are just adding the variable exponent power in each term. Now move on to third term. x cube and y square means 3 times x and 2 times y or 3 plus 2 or total 5 variables. Now, which term has the highest combined exponent power? It is third term, which is having 5 as highest combined exponent power. Hence, the degree of this multivariable polynomial is 5. Remember, we just need to add the variable power in order to find the degree of polynomial in case of multivariable expression. Let's understand the importance of knowing the degree of polynomials by flying a rocket. He is Matthew, extremely curious boy. After years of hard work, he built one small rocket which can hit the predefined target, as shown on your screen. He programmed it and launched it from a nearby beach. He kept the timer on to see if all the controllers was working properly. Now the rocket firstly goes into mid-air and then its controller sets the coordinates to identify the target. After a few seconds target was hit, as expected by Matthew. He was very excited. Matthew came home and plotted the height of the rocket and time graph. See what he got. Now he wants some mathematical equation for that so that he can explain to others effectively. Upon entering the values of height and time into the computer, the computer suggested this polynomial for complete trajectory. See on your screen, can you tell me, 
What is the degree of this polynomial? See we have to look for maximum power of variable t. t power maximum is here, which is 5. Hence, the degree of this polynomial is 5. Now if Matthew has to tell someone how his rocket flew, he can say, the rocket trajectory was the same as polynomials of degree 5. Key takeaway is, degree helps us to identify the type of motion one object does and much more. That's all, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for regular updates.